so much. Thank you so much. Now, I'm sure you've heard about Saka Homes. You probably have experienced a bit of it. It's, it's, it's a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful estate. But even more beautiful is the story behind it, man. This young guy who started it has an amazing, inspiring story that I want him to come and share with us today. Put your house together. Show some love for Kojo Saka Abu <laughs> yes, 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 yes. All right. <laughs> Welcome to the show, man. Thank you, thank you, Kess. Um, uh, you know, you, you it's nice and humbling. I'm happy to be here. Oh, I'm well. I'm humbled. I've been, I've been watching for years, and it's, yeah. it's nice to finally be here. You're, you're a little baby. For years, <laughs> for, years for a very long time. Okay, so I'm meeting people. Who, yeah, I was watching you when I was on the feeding bottle, things like that. I don't like to say when I was young because it makes me feel old. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> you are a young man. Oh, yeah. Well, welcome to the show, man. Thank you. Let me start with this. You know how this adage about Kofu, they are naturally businessmen, you know. You see, Kofu, they are only business. Business, they are My dad worked for Snit. My dad wasn't a businessman. He wasn't a businessman. No, no, no. <laughs> but I was inspired. No, no, but it's still in you. Oh, yes, yes. It, I think it's, it, it comes naturally. Mm. As a Kofu man, you, you have this niche for business yeah i smell opportunity and i smell ideas when i walk around in town mm. and well, you, your story goes way back when you're at achimota yes. that's when you started smelling some business yes, stuff yes, tell yes. me a little bit about you see, i used your, to your, go to kantaman to, mm -hmm. to negotiate for shoes agree on a price then i will bring my friends from school to come and buy that's how i started business so, I so you saying, go to kantamanto and, and and negotiate the price and everything look for the my friends who have money mm. that are back mm. for no. their parents will not allow them to go to Cantamanto. <laughs> so I will go and look at the shoe, tell you about the shoe, hype the shoe, <laughs> and you will want it. So when I go, I had this guy at Cantamanto, he's called Schoolboy. If you used to go to Cantamanto in the 90s, you know him. So I agree on the price with Schoolboy. School I take you to buy, I make a commission, and um, I was in business. <laughs> So, what, 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 what struck you? Were they asking for shoes? What was it that sparked oh, you? Tell me. I, I like good things. Mm. And I realized that there was a limitation to what my parents could do. Mm. My mom worked for the government. My dad worked at SNIT. They did well for us. They took us to Achimata. But there were some things that I, I realized that if I could generate my own income, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I, I could have it in a legitimate way. I spent a lot of time with very well-to-do children. Mm. I was going to their houses, and that's where I developed these ideas from. And I started selling to them, mm. and I'll sell some of their things too for them. If they had old video games they wanted, I'll take it to a place called TS Tema Station. That was the name then, and I'll go and sell, and we'll share the profit. <laughs> I don't like talking about that. Kind of <laughs> It upset some parents. They didn't know their children were selling their games. <laughs> <laughs> wow. So that was Achimota. And um, from there you went to tech? I went to tech. And the, the, and the business acumen was still there? Yes. Where, where? Before I went to tech, I visited tech and I realized that they were doing a lot of photocopying. Mm. Um, I saw an advert in the graphic for a photocopier machine that was on auction. Mm. I put in a bid. I won. My mother bought it for me. So at, K, at um, STC, when we were going to tech and people were taking their suitcases, I was also taking my, Your photocopy, machine. my <laughs> photocopy machine. So I started photocopy in front of the architecture block, made some decent money for wow. a period. Then I noticed that one guy finished school, he had a popcorn machine at Report, and he took the popcorn machine away. So when we came back to school, there was no popcorn machine. So I saved up some money. My mother added some to it, and I bought a popcorn machine. So I was chopping popcorn and photocopying. <laughs> <laughs> so well, you, you have a natural sniff to that uh, there's a need here man i have to feel it is it, it comes I, I think it comes naturally and I, I think that i also developed that from some books i read mm. seven habits of highly effective people mm. and a couple of other books like that it, it naturally um, developed my brain to spot mm. opportunity mm. and take advantage of it Mm. I, I sometimes I'm at a loss when people say there's no work in Ghana. Or there's it's a, no, it's just that they are not serious. Mm. And when people say there's no money, it's not money. I think you need a good idea. If you have a good idea, you can get people like KSM and other people to chip in, and you'll be able to start your business. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. 
I, the, the youth, the youth of Ghana, the, the youth, the youth of Ghana, I hope you are listening. You know, it says if you say there's no work, it means you don't want to work. Sincerely. My, yeah. my candid opinion. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because I, I, I have about five businesses that I run, mm. and everybody who works for Saka Homes, the, the, the main company, mm -hmm. also has businesses that they mm -hmm. run. Mm -hmm. it, is my, it is my vision to mm. encourage them to also own do, other do businesses things, yeah. so that they are not so dependent yeah. on Saka Homes. Yeah. We, we are structured in a way that my marketing manager, for instance, though he works for Saka Homes, he's into artist management, he has a brand, a brand management company, Brand Minds, the operations manager is into printing. He does some work on the side. Well, that's the whole idea. Mm -hmm. I, I, I saw this in your office and I told you that mine says together we rise. Mm -hmm. If we are all doing something, mm -hmm. no problem. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But it's so interesting because um, you've had that entrepreneurial spirit. You had that spirit for a long time. Um, and it's amazing when I was listening to you, the, the, how you came up by getting into real estate. Because you, you oh. built something, not to sell. Tell me the story. You know, I, was, I started making some money. I hadn't traveled abroad before. And you know how we treat traveling abroad. Yeah. So I used the first money to go from London to Belgium to Amsterdam. Just said, we could blow cash. <laughs> when I came back, my father called me, says, my son, be wise build a house mm. so i started building a house in Anya. i finished it in about three years then i put a sign on it to let the next minute a white man and a lady come and say but your mother's all torn down and i'm like to let really to let really <laughs> i said oh but it dawned on me then mm. that there's an opportunity to sell, to sell. so i said that oh the, my boss is not here mm. but i'll take your number tomorrow i'll call you and let you know the price fortunately I went onto the um, net, went around, and I found out that I could sell the house for about 100, 120. I put in um, an offer for 100 to them, and they accepted. They said they'll pay. They made me an offer for 88,000, which was okay. Me, who says can you be crying? 88,000. $88,000, yes. 88, and they paid cash. Bam! Wow. To stand chat and come bottom. <laughs> bam! Bam! 88,000. A small, uh, old Mercedes V boot. That week, I upgraded to round light. <laughs> <laughs> but you see, as they say in Ghana, KSM, the witches in my village, <laughs> not me and <laughs> The day the couple was going to move into the building, the building was marked for a highway. Wow. So I had to refund the money. But don't say, oh, don't be sad. It's the best thing that happened. Mm. So you refunded the money to them? I refunded the money to them. Less $4,000 because... The, uh, the, the time, you know. <laughs> mm, but over a period I paid. But eventually, the government compensated me for that building. That's the Pokwase Anya Highway. Mm. And I made 100000 from the co compensation. Apart from the 100000 I made, I also got to demolish the building myself. <laughs> so all I had to do was build blocks in Domi, move my windows straight from Anya to Domi, move my roof, move my <laughs> ceiling. So it, it was all good profit for me mm. while i was breaking the building you know Ghanaians, they were insulting the government and beauty <laughs> and i'm also standing there to move the and it, it, it helped mm. that was how i made the initial capital to start sucker homes mm. because out of that money i'd started a second building but out of that money i was able to push and build three houses at a go and that was when we actually registered Saka homes mm. and started building this mm. mission so, that's fantastic so you just build a house to let and this is and the rest is history the english to let to let to let and the boy was there so i'm going to for sale <laughs> wow, wow so i'm sure i'm sure there are young guys watching any uh, craving to get into their own business to do something i think it would be great to have a, an advice for them well i, will, I, I always encourage um, the first thing i say that you should be credible mm. 
Mm. Because the business that brought me money to be able to do these things was born out of credibility. Mm. I used to sell water in tankers to brawl. And this water, initially when I started, I was getting it on, um, it was pay as you go. Mm -hmm. It got to a time that the supplier I was doing and the money I had couldn't match. So I'd go and pack my famous Zwingboot Mercedes, take water, and when I get paid, I'll go and pay and take my car. Mm. After a while, the major supplier realized that I was quite credible. I paid on time. So now he'll give me the water and he won't take my car. Mm. But what I also did was that for all the years that we were doing this business, whenever he, I get paid, I focus on paying him first. I never for one spent a pinch of his money. Mm. My focus was on my commission, what I was getting. Mm -hmm. And that is what I used to build capital and go into what I'm doing. I realized that most of the young people now don't value credibility. Mm. But I believe that if you are credible and you are known to be credible, mm. if you need 2,000 to start a business, I believe you can speak to 10 people who will give you 200 CDs each. And you can have the 2,000 to start. I usually encourage a good idea. If your idea is good, you should be able to get people to fund you. And also, I encourage starting small. Mm -hmm. Because I started mm -hmm. very small. Mm -hmm. I've gone, I've done printing, I've done all sorts. But small and gradually, and I've learned over a period. I've been in business since I was 17 years old. I'm 38 years now. So it's not like I get started mm -hmm. and poof, mm -hmm. it's happening. Sometimes people see you and they think it, it just, just happened. happened. Yeah. You should understand that you are climbing stairs. When mm. you jump, you definitely come down. Mm. But when you climb, you can control your growth and your pace. Mm. That is my candid opinion. Talk of love, man. Talk of love. Mm. Talk about incremental. Start somewhere, start small, how you can manage it, and then grow from there. Wow, wow. So, apart from Saka Homes, which, which is big now, what else is under your wing? I um, have an oil interest. It's called Kinetic Oil Fuel Services. We are registered by the Petroleum Commission of mm. Ghana. And we do some work on the FPS, so Kwame and Chroma. We supply some labor. We do some procurements for Jensen and um, ENI and Talu. We are also involved in Brandon, a company called Brand Minds that is owned by my operations manager. Mm -hmm. uh, sorry, my marketing manager. Mm -hmm. I have a stake in it, and we basically do branding, mm -hmm. general branding. We have um, Srebo and Saka, which is a car import company. I bring salvage cars from America, repair them, and I sell mm -hmm. on the local mm -hmm. market. Mm -hmm. Then we have um, 10 Street Clippers, which is a men's grooming saloon. So we, we have one now, but we are planning to do a chain of them. Mm -hmm. Basically, mm -hmm. we do men grooming, haircuts. And what's the name of them? 10 Street Clippers, American mm -hmm. style. Oh, yeah, man, bro, mm -hmm. a mm -hmm. So basically, that's mm -hmm. what we are mm -hmm. involved in now at the mm -hmm. moment. Mm -hmm. So Saka Homes, you have about what, 200 people working for you now? More than. More than More than. than. Well, on the average, we are running about five sites. And every site has about 30 plus workers on site at the mm. moment. So mm. we, 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 are, we are moving some numbers. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There's With no incentives yeah. from the government or anything. Yeah. We are but paying the normal taxes and... So you, this was done from scratch? This is all... Yes, of this pocket financing, yes, you get loans? No, no, we've never had any loan. No, no. Basically, we grew from that $100,000 I told you about. We sell and we, we reinvest. Because I have other interests, mm -hmm. I, I, follow, I focused on spending money from water and other businesses and reinvesting all the money that comes um, into soccer homes. So it took us about five years to really become comfortable. Mm. In the last um, three years, I got a couple of friends to also put in some money mm. into specific houses. Mm. So these friends of mine bring money. We invest in a particular house. When I sell, then they make a return I on the, the investment. I, mm -hmm. I haven't been able to secure any loans. Not that I'm not um, loan worthy, but it's just that uh, it's, it's a bit cumbersome. I tried taking a loan from my main bankers and uh, uh, I'm disappointed. I, I, I'm really? So all of this has been financed? Purely, everything is fine. Huh? Yes, just by myself and um, some four friends of mine who came in about three years ago. Wow. And what's the lesson in there for people who are listening to you? 
I just want them to know that, you know, when you start business, you don't start enjoying life. Mm. When I started, there was a time my, my girlfriend left me because <laughs> <laughs> no brownie <brand> didn't do <laughs> She couldn't buy into the vision. So, yeah. uh, your mates are going to get work. Go and work. You say you are doing business. Where's your office? You point to your back seat. <laughs> but I had a vision and I believed in what I was doing. I also sacrificed a lot because I used to do a lot of the food rounds myself. Mm -hmm. I remember once I went to deliver water at Newmont. While delivering the water, a girl I went to Achimota School in a high hill and a Porsche shadow came down. She saw me and she pretended she didn't she doesn't know, know you because I was in my trainers and my shorts and I was carrying what the happened? pump we use in, you know, the pump and the dirty hose. Yeah. I was carrying them and she just ignored me. And you tried to call her? I tried to, but I, 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 I not that I tried to, I called her. Yeah. But the way she looked at me and looked away, no, I knew that I, I shouldn't pursue this one. <laughs> but I wasn't prepared, I wasn't discouraged. <laughs> I, I pursued it and. In a nutshell, I think that everything is gradual. That's mm -hmm. my approach. Mm -hmm. You grow your money over a period. So whatever mm -hmm. money we make, we put back into mm -hmm. the business. Mm -hmm. Whatever money we make. Mm -hmm. It took a while for us to start buying cars and traveling. And mm -hmm. so the we, issue you talked about is so key. Credibility. You know, is, reliability. Everything. It's an asset. And it's very, very hard to imprint that in the, in the young ones now. That you have to be, you know, this fast track system of getting by quickly at the expense of your credibility is, is your loss. I think that we should crave to be credible because life will get better. It's only a matter of time. What you don't have today, you will have in a matter of time. Mm. So don't mess about with your credibility because it's not happening today. Mm. That's my, my candid opinion. I pursue life steadily. As I said, it's like you're climbing stairs one day at a time. Mm. Mm. Maybe the time you buy your Rolls Royce. Now Rolls Royce now who we are can say no and can Yeah, yeah. Let's take take this a this a quick second. Let's look at some of the the property you can get with the Saka homes. Let's just take it. Take a look at this. Preview. This, what does what, what do you go through? You know, do you because hey, uh, my, my ad you and I say, well, oh. what I think that most of this has been achieved because of the team I work with, mm, mm. and I like to, in my own small way, make the team feel appreciated. Mm -hmm. I can't do this on my on own, own. Yeah. without them, we won't be where we are today. Mm, mm. I'm happy that we have been able to retain most of the people we started with. Mm. I'm happy that we are growing together. I see some of my workers buying their own cars. I see them building their houses, and that's what excites me. The fact that we create employment and we enjoy together. Mm, I, mm, mm. I work because I want to travel. I've been to 49 countries as wow, I sit here. Really? And I'd never traveled um, until 2006. There are countries that the normal America and London and the European yeah. there and there. I've been to most of them more than 10, 10, 10 times since I know I'm 46 now. So I work so that I can travel Wait, and see the some of the other ones you've gone to? Amsterdam, you know, the, those places I always go. Dubai, I've been those yeah. places there. But I've been to, I've been to a lot of places. Mm -hmm. I travel Africa. I just did a drive, 3,500 kilometers. Accra to Yamosukro, Yamosukro to Banfora in Burkina, Banfora to Bobo de Lasso in Burkina, then to Ouagadougou, then to Natetegu in Benin, 
then down to Kutonu into Lome and you back to Accra. Just driving around? That was my summer. I did this about a month ago with some friends. Beautiful drive. We saw some very wonderful places. And um, I encourage people to travel Africa. Mm. There's a lot mm. to see. And it's safe. It's not dangerous. Everybody's saying, hey! We drove in a very nice car. Nobody attacked us. We went and came back. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And you're married? I'm married. I have a beautiful wife, Abna Mwafua Adumensa. I have a daughter, Mami Adwasaka Adumensa. And um, I'm hoping to have two more children. Mm -hmm. I'm busy working at it. I just busy put in an effort even before I came here. <laughs> <laughs> I put in a good effort before you came. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> I'm actually aspiring to be a sexologist, but I haven't been able to achieve it. I'm working at it. I'm working at it. Oh, great. And your parents? My parents uh, have gone to visit God at the moment. My okay. dad just left 18th April. My mom left five years ago. But I'm here today because of my parents. Mm. They took me to good schools, mm -hmm. they invested a lot in my education. Mm. And they gave us a very good home to mm, grow up in. Mm, I think I had, I had very good. Yeah. 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 And in terms of a uh, young guy in business, what advice with parents, family? What my greatest regret in life is not making time for my mother, mm. because when you are in business and you are growing, you know every time my mom will call me, "Hello, ma," "Oh, ma," to say, "Hey, yeah," mm. "Oh, my friend, ma." Man, Patrol, me fell back why? Me, and I wasn't doing anything. Wow. Every day, me fell back. back. My mom died on Monday. I, I don't remember the last conversation I had with her. Mm. It, it, it kills my spirit. Mm. Because she died sudden. I, she was 61 years old. I didn't think mm. she was going to die. Mm. So I always thought that I would have time, time to, to be with my mom. But the lesson I learned from that helped me have a wonderful five years with my dad. Mm. The five years after my mom's passing, is so that that woke you up. It was the to, most to beautiful time I ever had with my dad. We spent good time together. We traveled the world. We had conversations. Wow. I'll take him out Wednesday for lunch. But what I learned from it is that they are not here forever. Mm. We should make time, a conscious effort to mm. make time mm. for family. Money and everything is there. Trust me. Now I decided that when my phone goes off. I won't rush to go and charge it. Mm -hmm. Nothing will happen. And truly, really, I've been doing it's it for hard. Nothing true. happens. It's like you're working yeah. for the charger. Nothing uh, will battery, low battery. It's, it's good to spend time yeah. with family. Mm. For those who have parents, this is their chance to make up. Because you need, when, you, when I spent the last five years hanging out and chilling with my dad, I found out about things that for all the 33 years I've been with him proud to that. Wow. I didn't know. Wow. So let's make time for our parents. Take them out. Don't be taking, always taking girls and people. No, no. Make time for family. Because this my mom. I'm busy. I'm busy. I wasn't doing anything. Hanging out with friends. And now my mom is gone. And she made me. And I couldn't even chill her yeah. up. Kakra Yeah. Yeah. So, so folks, I hope you are listening, man. This is so, so, so important, you know. I mean... I don't know whether, fortunately, unfortunately for me, she's not there for me to make up the time. But, <laughs> but um, yeah, oh, that is great. Now, um, could you, people are watching you. They're probably seeing the houses and they say, ah, saka, saka. How do, how do they, who do they call? Is there a number they can reach? They want to oh, do any? We have a website, okay. sakahomes.com, okay. S-A-K-A-H-O-M-E-S.com. -E okay. On social media, Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, all these we are there, Saka Homes. Mm -hmm. So you can look um, for us on social media, Saka Homes. And we have all our contact details there. Okay. Um, our office currently is opposite the specialized water factory in Oyarifa, mm -hmm. next to the Goyal. That's okay. where our office is. Okay. And um, you can call us on us anytime. Okay. So, folks, the, the information is on your screen right now. And um, you had the two key words, man. Credibility. Being reliable. And that has been the foundation to, who, to what he has become, man. And you, that, that, you know, what, what struck me was the story, the backstory. It was not that the young guy basically said, home and said, no, 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 the backstory from secondary school, the, the business deals, but above all, the credibility. So, folks, the number is there, the contact is there, and make sure you take advantage. Kojo! Thank you so much, man. Thank you so much.
<laughs> this, is, this is a Wakanda motivation. Sing around, folks. We'll be right back.